Hello guys, welcome to the channel and today we're going to be solving this interesting limit and um, so this limit guys is pretty pretty interesting so let's solve this guys thank you very much for being here and uh, I really appreciate your support please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet so let's go to the solution guys well first of all we have to find the indetermination form of this limit so we're going to have that to do this we're going to just replace the value of, uh, of the tendency so we have x goes to 1 so uh, this is then going to be x 1 to the 20 which is 1 plus uh, 1 to the 15 which is 1 and then plus 1 to the 10 and then minus 3 and then this is um, divided by um, 1 plus 1 plus 1 and then minus 3 and then this is 3 minus 3 over 3 minus 3 and then this is 0 over 0 so this is the indetermination from 0 over 0 so um, it means that we have to simplify the term x minus 1 in both numerator and denominator right so let's do it guys uh, here I'm gonna have we have let's work on the on the numerator right let's say 1 here so x to the 20 plus x to the 15 plus x to the 10 minus 3 uh, I can write this as so I can write this as um, so this is x to the 20 plus x to the 15 plus x to the 10 negative 3 it's minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 okay just doing step by step now I'm gonna write x to the 20 minus 1 plus x to the 15 minus 1 plus x to the 10 minus 1 okay guys so now I'm going to factor this. So x to the 20 minus 1, I can write as x to the 10 minus 1, which multiplies uh, x to the 10 plus 1. And then x to the 15 minus 1, I can write this as um, plus x to the power of 5 to the power of 3 minus 1. And then x to the 10 minus 1 this is x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies x to the 5 plus 1 so and this one here is the same thing here right this is x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies x to the 5 plus 1 times x to the 10 plus 1 and then here we have what a to the 3 minus b to the 3 right which is a plus a minus b I mean which multiplies a square plus a b plus b square so we are just gonna apply this so we're gonna have then that this is plus x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies this is then x to the 10 right plus x to the 5 plus 1 and then plus this thing here which is x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies x to the 5 plus 1 and then what we see here we see x to the 5 minus 1 x to the 5 minus 1 x to the 5 minus 1 so we have then x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies um, x to the 5 plus 1 which multiplies x to the 10 plus 1 this one first here and then here in the middle we're gonna have x to the 10 plus x to the 5 um, plus 1 and then which sums to this one here x to the 5 plus 1 right and then I'm close okay close brackets here so now well I'm gonna simplify this this is x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies you see that I have um, You see that I have here um, x to the 5 plus 1 I can just factor this x to the 5 plus 1 with this one this is x to the 5 plus 1 which will multiply x to the 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus x to the 10 plus x to the 5 plus 1 so this is now x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies x to the 5 plus 1 which multiplies x to the 10 plus 1 plus 2 sorry uh, x to the 10 plus 2 x to the 10 plus 2 and then this 
plus um, x to the 10 plus x to the 5 plus 1 okay remember that this one here goes this bracket so we could simplify this guys doing uh, simplifying this by x minus 1 but I'm not gonna do this because in the denominator we're gonna find a similar term so we're gonna simplify so we don't go we don't need to go that far actually okay that's the, the only reason why we're not gonna factor this but let's just do this because some people can say well you said you will do this but you didn't actually so let's do this x to the 5 minus 1 is the same thing as x minus 1 which multiplies x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x squared plus x plus 1 and then this thing here will multiply x to the 5 plus 1 which multiplies x to the 10 plus 2 plus x to the 10 plus x to the 5 plus 1 okay okay cool so now this is the numerator factored right now let's go to the denominator and uh, in the denominator we have now uh, let's call the denominator 2 right we have x to the 15 plus x to the 10 plus x to the 5 and then minus 3 right so this is now equal to x to the 15 minus 1 plus x to the 10 minus 1 plus x to the 5 minus 1 okay so from here we have then we already have done this right I'm not going to do this again because we already did it here and we already did it here so this one is going to be x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies x to the 10 plus x uh, to the 5 plus 1 right which plus this one here is x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies x to the 5 plus 1 plus x to the 5 minus 1 and then we're gonna factor x to the 5 minus 1 which will multiply um, um, x to the 10 plus x to the 5 plus 1 and then plus x to the 5 plus 1 which is this one and then here we're gonna have plus 1 right so this is gonna be then x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies x to the 10 plus 2x to the 5 and then plus 3 right so this is what we got here remember why I say that we actually don't need to say that uh, to take to continue saying that x minus 1 x to the 4 x to the 3 x squared plus x and then here which multiplies x to the 10 plus 2 x squared plus 3 right because look at this guys this one this whole thing here will simplify with this whole thing here right so I'm gonna simplify this term here which is this one and simplify with with what? with this one here but as we solving like step by step let's do now that our limit then we're gonna have that would be equals to uh, a limit as x goes to 1 of the numerator let's write the numerator here which is this one here so this is um, x minus 1 which multiplies what guys just for, for, for some clarity here we actually don't need as a as a as I already did here we don't have to rewrite again this thing here we don't write we don't need to rewrite again this one here and uh, because we're just gonna use directly this one in the numerator uh, in the denominator okay and the other one which is this one here we're just gonna use this one here in the numerator so x to the 5 plus 1 so now this this is x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies um, x to the 5 plus 1 which multiplies x to the 10 plus 2 plus x to the 10 plus x to the 5 plus 1 and this thing here divided by x to the 5 minus 1 which multiplies x um, to the x to the 10 plus x to the five plus sorry plus 
um, actually we have here oh my god I all came to the beginning so we have this is let's go let's go okay so now I'm going to erase this thing here so this is okay and then plus 2x to the 5 and then plus plus 3 right because this is what we got here now we're gonna simplify this one and this one okay and then we have this is gonna be limit as x goes to 1 of x to the 5 plus 1 which multiplies x to the 10 uh, plus 2 um, plus x to the 10 plus x to the 5 plus 1 and then this divided by x to the 10 plus 2x to the 5 and then plus 3 so from here uh, let me erase this uh, plus 3 right and then from here we have that this is then replacing 1 then we're gonna have that this is gonna be 1 to the 5 is 1 1 plus 1 then which multiplies 1 plus 2 and then plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 here right and uh, there is there is no need for this bracket actually uh, let me raise this so and then this divided by 1 plus 2 plus uh, plus 3 right so we're gonna have that this is gonna be what this is gonna be 2 times 3 plus 3 and then this is going to be um, 6 so this is going to be guys this is 9 divided by 6 when we simplify by 3 we're going to have that this is 3 over 2 so this is the solution for this limit here guys 3 over 2 okay so guys at the end we have that this little monster here is equal to 3 over 2. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm counting on you guys. Please help me uh, reach at least 1,000 subscribers till the end of this year. And uh, thank you very much. See you next video. Bye bye. Please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't. And drop a comment. Thank you very much. Bye bye.